There are a host of mind-blowing pug facts to choose from, as you would predict from such an ancient breed. Some are surprising, others disturbing, but all are interesting. In this video, I've narrowed them down to nine pug facts that aren't widely known. Nine, the Prince's Mark. For thousands of years, the pug was a favorite of Chinese emperors for several reasons, but the most notable was because of what's called the Prince's Mark. The Prince's Mark is a Chinese character used for the word prince and is closely imitated in the wrinkles found above and between the eyes of a pug. Chinese breeders wound up judging the quality of the breed by how pronounced this wrinkly mark was displayed. To this day, the Prince's Mark found on the forehead of pugs is a standard in the eyes of kennel clubs worldwide. 8. The Dwarf Mastiff Speaking of the wrinkles talked about in my previous pug fact, these same wrinkles created some wordplay after pugs hit the European scene in the 17th century. What we call a pug was then referred to as a Dutch Mastiff or a Dwarf Mastiff. However, these names or classification attempts didn't stick for long for two very good reasons. The pug is neither Dutch nor a Mastiff. At some point, the name changed to a Dutch pug, but that eventually relented to simply pug. 7. Black Pugs Don't Shed So, is it true that black pugs don't shed? Unfortunately, the answer is no, they do shed as do all pugs. The majority of black-coloured pugs only have a single coat, whereas the rest are double-coated. With pugs, the double coat means double the shedding. The misconception that black pugs don't shed is simply due to them shedding that much less than the others, having less fur to shed. 6. A Grumble of Pugs A group of any other dogs is commonly called a pack, but the pug has established its own pluralised category, grumble. Some say that the term comes from the snorting and snarling that's typical of pugs due to their pushed-in noses. Get a group of pugs together and you can understand how the chorus of snarls and snorts could constitute being called a grumble. 5. Pugs have historically had friends in high places Being held in high regard by Chinese emperors and princes isn't the extent of the pug's royal reach. The breed's popularity in the United Kingdom spread further through Queen Victoria's love for her pugs. The Duke and Duchess of Windsor had 11 pugs throughout their lives, and some servants are recorded as saying that the pugs were the children that the Windsors never had. 4. The Ancestor to the Ancient Mythical Foo Dog If you're not sure what a foo dog is, you could consider them the Chinese version of a gargoyle sharing many of the same characteristics, except a foo dog could turn into a dragon if it wanted to. Their statues are often located in places of prominence, decorating temples and palaces, again similarly to the European uses for the gargoyle. It was once believed that the pug was an ancestor to this mythical creature. When comparing the pug to the foo dog, you can see a slight resemblance in the head and face, which might have led to this connection. Three. William the Silent's life saved by not-so-silent pug. It was the Dutch revolting against the Spanish in a bitter struggle that evolved into an 80-year conflict that resulted in the establishment of the Dutch Republic. However, history could have taken a drastic turn differently were it not for a pug named Pompey. An early leader in the revolt was a man named William the Silent, Prince of Orange. One night on the battlefront, assassins snuck into William's dwelling, plotting to kill him, but were foiled by the alarm raised by Pompey's diligent bark. <coughs> 2. Napoleon Bonaparte's Wedding Night Bite Now and then, even the most prominent, powerful and influential people need a reality check. Napoleon received such a reality check on his wedding night while attempting to consummate his marriage. His bride's pug, who was accustomed to sleeping on the bed, didn't care who Napoleon was nor feared his reputation and refused to get off the bed. While locked in romance, Napoleon wound up being bitten hard that night, leaving a scar on his leg that would stay with him for the rest of his life. 1. The Secret Order of the Pug this is the last on the list and is also the strangest that began in the early to mid-1700s. A Masonic-styled cult or society 
formed primarily by Roman Catholics to counter a law passed by the Pope that condemned certain Masonic sects and disallowed Catholic involvement entirely. The pug was chosen as a mascot by this order, due to it being a symbol of loyalty, steadfastness and trustworthiness. Barking at initiations, being led around by collars referring to themselves as pugs, secret scratching at the door rather than knocking, and kissing the backside of a porcelain pug under its tail as a sign of devotion are among the strange things done by this group exposed soon after its creation. So, were you aware of any of the pug facts listed in this video? And do you have any that you would like to include? If so, on either count, leave me a comment below to let me know all about it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe to receive my latest and greatest videos about your most favorite dog breeds. Thanks for watching.